Hi, my name is Sanga Lindsay. I'm a landscape architect here in North Vancouver. And it's late May, early June, and uh, a little late to be showing how to do potatoes, but I wanted to get them at a little more advanced stage so you'd understand how to do potatoes early in the spring. Uh, as soon as the frost is out of the ground, and as soon as you have a reasonable expectation you're not going to have frost in your garden, is when you want to plant potatoes. So here's an example. They've sprouted a little bit, but these are French fingerlings. They're a gourmet uh, potato. We also have purple Russians in these ones as well. Uh, and so you'll get a potato that pretty much looks like a potato. You want to buy them at your nursery so that they're not pre-treated like the grocery store variety. They're pre-treated so that they don't actually germinate the little eyes that you typically see on your potatoes in the grocery store. Because what happens is those eyes, as you can see here, become, the little eyes actually sprout. That's where your leaves sprout from. And the roots come out of your tuber. So basically this is a tuber. These have already advanced a little bit. When you, when you first get them though, it looks like a regular potato with tiny little eyes. So what you want to do is you want to store your potatoes initially in your garage in a cool, dry place till you start to, those eyes start to swell on your potatoes. The eyes are like little knobs on your tubers. So we already started some in these other containers. Potatoes are a root, they, they grow underground and so there's a little trick to getting a harvest and that's on our edible green roof we have raised containers here because we need some soil depth to grow our potatoes so the first step is once you germinate your little um, eyes you want to get a container that's deep enough so that you and this these are about two feet deep and we actually have only put in about six inches of soil on these containers um, you put your potatoes, this will take about three tubers worth, a two by two container. You can do them in a regular garden bed as well, and I'll talk about that technique in a, in a bit. You just want to place them in your container, six inches deep approximately. I'm actually going to bury them a little bit lower, about uh, three inches. So they're basically three inches from the bottom of the container and I'm going to cover them in soil until they germinate. These guys are a little more advanced. I already did this a few weeks ago and I just want to show you. They germinated three inches below the contain at the bottom of the container and then I started adding soil. So once you start to see these leaves, and I'll just pull up this one to show you. There's the tuber here, and those are the, uh, the foliage with the roots. So what happens is you want to start as the shoots, as these leaves come up through the soil, you want to start piling four inches, four inches or six inches of soil, and you want to force these leaves to come up shoot up through the soil because what happens is off the stems of these these shoots so off of basically off of these stems will be where your new potatoes form so that's the, the trick to growing potatoes if you put them in a container put them at the bottom of the container and as they germinate and as these leaves and stems work their way up you keep piling four inches or six inches of soil you keep forcing the leaves to come out grow up 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 through your soil and then they'll shoot out little potatoes and then at the end of the year when the foliage dries back or in late September you can just pop your soil out of your container and there you go you'll have potatoes which we'll show you later on this season if you have a garden bed and you have a lot more soil depth, of course, you can create a trench and dig down a trench and put your potatoes in a trench and again, fill in your trench over time. Or you can plant your potatoes almost at the grade of your soil bed and create little hills around your potatoes, forcing the shoots up and up and up. That's how you grow potatoes. If you want any more information on please visit our website at www.sangadesigns.com. We have everything about beekeeping, our edible green roof, uh, recipes, gourmet culinary tips. Please visit our website. 
Thanks for watching.